so I decided I can't be in your life anymore. I know it's going to hurt like a ton of bricks. Like no analogy will ever be good enough to encompass this. To encompass what you're going to feel every day. But they'll be like books. Each one has a title and summary that perfectly describes how you'll feel. Every long-awaited romance will pull you in as you wonder how it ends if you can just put yourself into it. If you could somehow change your outcome with this one, maybe somehow it would bring you back to me, scratch that. Maybe it would solve what we lack, scratch that. The courage to communicate, scratch that. What the heck is going on and what's been wrong? Instead of having you question God himself, what's wrong with you, scratch that. Why don't you just do what the other person wants of you to feel loved, to feel accepted, to feel validated like God already does of you just in human form. Just once you want to tell the world that he woke you up to prepare to meet this one person. Instead of crying your eyes out wondering, God, like he works in retail, asking, don't you have anything in the back that I can't possibly abuse or misuse or take advantage of? God, in these days where all I seem to do is have everything in your world remind me of them. And it doesn't faze me that you bring to my remembrance all the little details and major conversations. And I want to ask anyone who knows about them if they're all right. And just because I want my name to be in their atmosphere again, if you've ever put it there, I know it's never found on a keychain, but the misspelled version will do just fine. If for, if for one day they can just miss me too, if one day they can go through what I'm always going through, God, please don't forget about me.